Hello and welcome to Momming Abroad. I post new videos from an expat mommy perspective every week on Sunday. Today's video is about the importance of creating rituals and routines for your child. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. If you haven't already checked out my blog, I have a blog, mommingabroad.wordpress.com, and I posted this article the, about creating rituals and routines a few months ago, and I will link that in the description box, and that is more detailed than the video today will be. So if you're interested in hearing some more about this topic, make sure to head on over there and read the full article. So why are rituals and routines important for a child, and what is the difference? So a ritual is something that is a little bit more ceremonial, whereas a routine is a little bit less dressed up and it is something that you just do on a regular basis. It's part of your every day. So a ritual is something that feels a little bit more special, whereas a routine is kind of just the daily grind. One way that I like to think about it is I like to think about rituals in a Waldorf Steiner perspective, so something a little bit more creative for the children that they will remember in that aspect. And I think of routines as something a little bit more Montessori, so the practicality of the everyday life and giving your children the opportunity to know what is ahead of them each and every day. So research shows the importance of routines for children. Um, the world for them is completely unknown and they are being overwhelmed with um, mental as well as physical growth in their early years, especially from birth until age three. And having a set routine, whether it is the waking up routine or their lunch routine or their getting dressed routine or their after dinner routine or their sleep time routine, whatever it is, that ha knowing what's ahead of them and what to expect will help them process the information and just feel a little bit calmer throughout the day and it will help with behavior as well as emotions. And the importance of rituals is really to give a child a sense of identity and belonging, a feeling of being loved and just having something to cherish and give them that sense of serenity and peace. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now. Uh, why do children love routines? They love the sense of security. Knowing what to expect and when to expect it really helps them make sense of the world, as I already said, but it also helps them with their behavior and it helps them make sense of the world around them. The next reason that routines are very helpful and important for a child is that it helps them foster independence. When they know exactly what to expect, they can act on their own. When they know that they have to take their plate back to the kitchen and then they have to go to their self-care station and get out their toothbrush and their hairbrush and then they can attempt to do it by themselves, they, that gives them a sense of ownership over what they need to do. And if you do that in the same way every single day at the same time, then they will start to do those things themselves a lot earlier than when there is no plan for the day and you're running out the door and you realized ah, I need to brush their hair or, or there's plates out and you just clean it up for them. If you make a routine out of these mundane daily tasks, it will help your child become independent as well. Now moving on from routines and going more towards rituals, the reason that rituals are important is it helps give a sense of feeling like they belong, that they're loved, and it helps create cherished memories as well that they will look back on fondly when they are older as adults. Generally, when speaking to adults about their favorite childhood memories, they don't they may mention going to Disneyland or some of the bigger things that they remembered as a child, but for the most part, research shows that the small things like visiting grandmas every week or going apple picking um, with Auntie Susan every month, once a month or so, those little things or baking cookies with mom or um, watching cartoons on Saturday morning with dad, those little things, those kinds of small routines and rituals, those stand out a lot more in an adult's memory from their childhood than some of those bigger items or bigger ticket things. Now what's important to remember when you're trying to create routines and rituals for your child is that they shouldn't be rigid. 
In order for a routine or a ritual to actually be a routine or ritual, they need to take place regularly. You can't call something a routine if you do it one week and then not for two months and then again one week. That's not a routine. But the problem with routines and rituals is that moms often feel overwhelmed and they can't hold to the routines that they've set out for themselves. So if you have every minute of your day planned out for you and your child, that's never going to work. You need to have some kind of flexibility and grace. Allow yourself um, to not brush your child's teeth one morning in the week if you are in a rush trying to get out the door or if your child is upset and um, they are overtired and they don't have it in them to sit through a few bedtime stories then please for your child's sake let them go directly to sleep put them down earlier don't make them sit there and read a couple of books with you if they're overtired and need to go to sleep. Um, so it's important to remember that uh, routines are great, but you need to know when and how they need to be amended as well. They should always be adjustable. Which leads me to my next point, which is it is important to always remember why you have chosen to implement a certain routine. Don't just do it because somebody on YouTube told you to do it or because you saw a friend doing it or your mother or mother-in-law suggested that you started doing this. Do something really for the reason that it belongs. So if your child needs a sense of security or uh, needs to feel some kind of connection with you, that is a good reason to do it. Always put your child's needs first and think about whether it's really the right fit for you and your child. And always remember that you can adjust your routine. You can cut down a bedtime story reading of three books to one if that fits better. Or whatever it is, you always can adjust it to fit. Even if you started with it one way, if you realize it's not working, go in and adjust. Trust your mom gut. When you're first starting out, I want to recommend that you start small. Uh, when I first decided I was going to implement a full-on day routine in order to get things on track because I was nursing and I just felt like my whole day was completely overwhelming and I made from one day to the next after doing a lot of research a full 24-hour routine for every single day. Obviously, that didn't last very long. It did go okay for a couple of days, but then it just became too much. And so my recommendation, if you want to not get discouraged, is to start really small and make sure to be ready to adjust and go back and review and revise what your routine is, and then go from there and always adjust and always check where your child is in his or her development stage and where you are in your parenting stage as well. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this has been useful and has encouraged you to start and implement or adjust your current routines. And if you would like some more information, some more details, make sure to head over to my blog where I wrote about this in more detail. I have the link in the description box. And I will see you guys at the next video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and the like button. Bye.